All right, in this video, we're going to talk about printing our schematics, I'm sorry, our PCBs, uh, actual size on a piece of paper. And this is very useful. Uh, you'll see now that if I have my PCB here, this is a different one, I use a different footprint, and I come up here and I say File, Print, there's the image it's going to print, and when I tell it to print, it prints out a piece of paper like this. And that's nice. It's nice for a report to have it big. It's easy to see. Uh, but it's not very functional if I want to check the fit of my parts. Now, most laser printers are very accurate. If you tell it to print life size, it will do that for you, and you can check your parts. So I'm going to look right here where it says scale. I'm going to change that to 100%. And then it warns me some settings were changed. Refresh. Okay, I'll refresh it. And now look, that print is smaller on that piece of paper. By doing this now, I can print that. I get a print like this. And I can take my part and see if it fits. Let me see. Oh, look at that. I take my part, which is my little dip 8-pin op amp. And I can see that that does not fit the footprint that's on my board. So this is a good way to check. that I have the right footprint and does it fit? Or is my capacitor too big? I'm trying to put my part on my board and, and I'm looking and it's like, oh, look at the size of the capacitor there. That, that's giant, but my real cap is only this big. This is a way to save you some time and money. You can check it by printing it here laying your parts on there and making sure everything fits and that the sizes are right. Uh, make sure you put it to 100%. The only time you'll get in trouble with this is if you tell it to print to a PDF. When you go to print the PDF, sometimes the PDF will scale it also and it'll be off a little bit. So be careful. If you have a Direct Connect printer, you won't have a problem. Uh, if you're going to print the PDF, make sure that you tell the PDF driver to do actual size. Don't scale it to fit the paper. Um, I think that's all we need on this. It's just a very helpful hint to make sure that when you do your PCB layout that everything is actually going to fit. 